how to learn plumbing code quick. We're going to talk about it in this video and we're going to do it right now. Plumbing code and learning plumbing code is a difficult thing. And I say difficult, it's difficult because it takes a while. You can't just read through this book and know everything that a plumber should know. So learning plumbing code is something I recommend that every apprentice or even a pre-apprentice whenever they first want to get into the trade. Learn what plumbing code is and why it's relevant. Plumbing code is very important because it makes sure that us as plumbers, we have a guideline, we have clear direction on what the cities and the inspectors think, want, and need. Every city has their own basic building codes and they would either decide to go by the International Plumbing Code or Uniform Plumbing Code. Now the books that I've got here, I've got the 2018 UPC Guide, Uniform Plumbing Code. What I like about these, this is one of the best books for me to study in. And the reason being is the way it's set up. I've got the 2018 UPC here, and this is actually the Illustrated Training Manual. And what I like about it is I've got mine tabbed, and you can see there's a bunch of different sections in here. Actually, I think this section's a few moments later. Actually, I think this book has about 17 or 18 sections plus addendums in the back. I love this because when I want to look something up, I've got something that tells me right where to go to. Let's get back to studying though. The reason that I use this book to study by, and don't get me wrong, the IPC has a very good study guide too. But here's what I like about this one. If you go to the back, you've literally got the answers back here. So I'm going to tell you how I study with this guide, and it really does work. Remember I told you earlier, I recommend this for apprentices and pre-apprentices. The reason being, it's going to help you understand and learn and really catch on to plumbing a lot faster. Guys, if you have a way that you study that you think will help apprentices, helpers, pre-apprentices, anybody wanting to get into plumbing, learn plumbing better, do me a favor, leave a comment down below and tag me in it. Let me see it, that way I can see what you think. I want to see what ways you're teaching. And if you've recently taken a plumbing exam, please do me a favor and tell me what did you do to study that you think helped you more than anybody else. I didn't have anything like this. So when I was an apprentice, literally, I was just learning from plumbers on job sites. I'd go down to the library every now and then, check out a book on you know, how to do plumbing. It mainly teaches you how to do residential plumbing, how to open up a wall, how to work on a valve, how to work on a faucet. This teaches you why we build and design buildings like we do. Think about it. Without plumbing code, there's a lot of people that would think, man, I can just run a water line in and catch everything. So they run a half inch water line in and just keep teeing off for it. Us as plumbers know you can't do that. You need to look up the code. You need to know what size the pipe needs to be because of flow restriction and different things, fixture units, everything involved determines what size that line's gonna be. Those are the kind of things you learn here. Each city also has addendums. Some may, some may not, but most of them do. I just looked up, you know, Dallas goes by the IPC, the International Plumbing Code. What you would do if you were doing a job in Dallas is look at the ICC books, and in particularly the IPC, the International Plumbing Code, look at that book and go through because that's what's gonna give you the clear direction. But in Dallas, they also have their addendums, meaning they've come in and they've made changes that they think they want done in the city of Dallas. I'm in Richardson and work in Plano. They're gonna be a little bit different. Each city takes on their own amendments. They make their own changes. You wanna make sure if you're bidding a job, looking at a job, or doing a job in a certain city, number one, you know what code they go by. Knowing what code each city goes by is huge, but you wanna learn it. So like I said, I go to the back of this book where the answers are. And I love it because it gives me all the answers. It doesn't just give me the letter, but it tells me what the answer is. So then what I do is I go over to that portion of the book and go through and highlight just the correct answer in green. So I go through and highlight everything one color, the correct answer only. After I do that, 
Now I go through this book four or five times. And I mean, literally, I used to carry these books with me. I'd read them at break. I'd read them at lunch. All I'm doing is reading the question and the correct answer, nothing more. Once I've read through this four or five times and I think I've got it down pretty good, now I will literally open it up, take a blank piece of paper and cover up the answers. And I go through and I read the question. If I don't know that answer 100% for sure, then I mark the question number over here pink. And what that does, that tells me I need to come back and study that one. And I will go through this entire book and do it that way. Now that I've gone through the book, and remember guys, when I, when I read that question, I don't allow myself to guess. I make sure I know that answer 100%. If I get it wrong or if I feel like I have to guess at it, that's when I highlight it pink. Because now I'm gonna go through this book a couple of times just reading the pink questions. Here's what I really like to do. Number one, I recommend this to apprentices starting out. It's gonna help you retain plumbing quicker. Now, the IPC, their study guide is also great. Now I like going through it and going through and just reading every question and seeing, do I know those answers? And then go back and check it. That's like a test to help me test myself. But here's what I do. I go to Austin the night before the test, read through this, reading the pink ones. The yellow ones, I already know. I get up the next morning, reading the pink ones at breakfast. And then I go take my test. Guys, let me tell you what. These code books have helped me and learning code and knowing code has helped me make right decisions in my plumbing career from the very beginning. So guys, after studying that way, now I'm confident. Now when I walk in to take my test, I feel good. This is the fastest way to learn the plumbing code. This and actually using the book to look the answers up when it's not there or when you're not sure. And if you're not sure, make sure you look it up so you know sizes, you know how long trap arms can be, you know how to size a water system. There's a lot of things that you can do to help you understand the building code and more specifically, the plumbing code in your area. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If you have, please leave me a comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And if you're getting ready to go take a test, I definitely recommend clicking on the link and picking this book up. It's going to help you a lot. I'm Roger Wakefield, Lead AP, the expert plumber, and I'll see you on the next video if you don't get flushed.